About 50 years ago, when I was a very small girl, one of my first memories of life is my grandpa telling me stories about Italy, the mountains, and how people would farm all the way up to the sky. All of my life, all I have ever wanted was to live in Italy. So three years ago, my husband and I came to look at a piece of land that had two stables, no plumbing, no electricity, but the land itself was so beautiful. This is the entrance to the house. That fantastic painting is actually a painting over a painting done by our dear friend, Bob Schneider. Our home is actually two separate buildings. One building used to be the stables, and then the stable keep lived on this side. And the only way this man could cook was the pizza oven over here. And then off to the left, hun, why don't you take the lead there, okay. is John's piano room. Come on in. This fazioli is made with wood from the Italian Alps. It's the same wood that they make a Stradivarius violin with, so it's very prized. Show off. <laughs> Come on in, guys. So this is what we call reception, as if you were staying in a hotel. I really wanted it to feel like a reception area. So if you're coming in tired with a lot of luggage, what do you want? You might want a coffee. You might want a tea. You might want some beautiful local wine. You just might want a water or a soda pop. So we have all of that set up on this side of the station. Honey, why don't you show them the well, pièce résistance? You may That's need... French, not Italian, but... <laughs> you may have dandruff. You may have cut your finger. You may need whatever this, what the heck is an eco pad? <laughs> oh, it's it's a pad for your face. It's, yes, they're eco friendly. Um, We've got hair brushes, we got toothbrushes. We have bathrobes, we even have a couple pair of pajamas. We have tissues, we have lotions and potions. We have batteries. We have batteries. For when the camera guy runs out of batteries. He uses different kind, honey. Oh. When my house burned down in upstate New York, my sweet friend Adrian made this table for me. These are all pictures of my notebooks that burned. It's crazy, but this is the main house and I have no view. So my friend Adrian made a view of Tuscany out of people and thoughts and ideas. My sweet Isabu, God rest her soul, she's in the painting and Bella's in the painting, and all of the ghosts of our parties that we've had here for our anniversary over the years is all floating above. And in the TV, that's a saved picture of the last painting my aunt Cheech painted. And so that's our screensaver for the, for the living room. All of our rooms and guest rooms have little do not disturb signs in Italian. And if you want service, you flip it over. If you want to be left alone, you turn it out. <laughs> so this is weird. We have an apartment in our house. Let me explain. When John and I are here alone, this is the only part of the house we need to open up, really. We can leave the rest of the house dark and we don't have to keep it all going, right? So that's Bella's corner. She has her own window view all day. This is our gym. This is a rack that I found in Milan, and it's basically my upstairs pantry. This is my island, and it holds just enough pots for the three of us, and that's the garbage bowl. It's just a hole in the table with a garbage can underneath. Plenty of storage, and of course, all of my refrigeration is in drawers. John's bar. And I have the coolest ice ever here in this ice machine. Ice that looks like golf balls. This is our little TV niche when we're here. And then around there is, well, Bella's other big bed. That she lets us sleep in occasionally. So ironically, unless you're using the grills or playing bocce or sitting behind John's music room, 
you do not have a view of Tuscany. But once you get to the view, it is stunning. The driveway is a big circle. You can go in from either direction to our property. Then down here is the bocce court. John, tell them the record so far. Oh, that we, we're like five and oh, our team? He's exaggerating. We're three, three or and four oh. and oh. Five is too much. But here's what happens when you play bocce with Bella. She chases after the polino. There she goes. <laughs> Bella, you can't, don't eat that, Bella. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, let's go pool. Bella loves the pool. Yeah. <laughs> All of this is hidden words, hidden phrases. It's all painted by Adrian. That's all fresh water. It's great because Bella will swim and drink at the same time. <laughs> Here's the pergola. The best view of the property is from the pergola. So all of these lights were made by the same guy who made the lights in the alley, my friend Massimo. This square table, the artisans that live in this region, they made that in a couple of hours. Like, no joke, a couple of hours. <laughs> Crazy. Sometimes I fall in love at first sight with a, a place or a, a a room or a space. And that's what happened here. It's very weird to see after so many decades of work and so many thousands of hours and so many thousands of jobs <laughs> uh, to be able to say, this is my land. I live here too.